वेलकम बैक टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ बॉस टॉक आई एम सत्यम फाउंडर ऑफ ब्रेन ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट एंड होस्ट फॉर दिस एपिसोड ऑफ बॉस टॉक एंड इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सीक्रेट्स ऑफ पास्ट लाइफ for this i have a special guest shardha dhanuka is here with a, with me and she is a past life regression therapist a spiritual coach a spiritual healer and as well as she is a tarot consultant in this episode we are going to talk about what is past life regression therapy is and we are going to decode it the science behind it all right so please be with me throughout the episode and here we go thank you so much shraddha for being here and being in this podcast thank you so much for being here thank you thank you satyam uh, for, for inviting me for having me here great to have you here and in this particular <laughs> podcast we are going to talk about past life we are going to talk about our karmas we are going to talk about how our karmas affect, affect our present life so right for the viewers i just want to tell them that in hinduism we also preach we also believe that there are multiple lives we have and we take our karma to the next life and past life regression therapy is one of the therapy which based on that concept and to know more even i don't know many thing about it so to know more uh, we have shraddha here so without wasting any further time i just want to ask shraddha so that in basic layman language let us know that what is this past life therapy uh, regression therapy and how it works yeah sure so uh, satyam uh, whatever we are experiencing in this current lifetime uh, whether it is good bad ugly or any uh, beautiful things we experience it is yeah. all result and outcome of our own past life our own karma okay we as we as a soul a soul is an energy energy never dies we we just change our costumes we just change our clothes we we change yeah. our form uh, we we never die so in this current lifetime uh, whatever we are experiencing if maybe we are we i have only you know uh, sown the seeds of those uh, karma in our previous lifetimes and uh, say for example we keep on complaining that you know we are not getting a good relationship in our life we are uh, we are uh, having toxic relationships kisi ko problem hoti hai ki hame job nahi mil rahi hai uh and uh, financially some people are struggling some people are struggling because of health issues so they keep on blaming uh, the situation they keep on blaming the their family members they keep on sometimes blaming their own self but True. they forget that you know th- this is what they are carrying from their previous lifetimes and past life regression therapy is a therapy where uh, a therapy process where through the entire procedure uh, the person visits the significant past life time and then the person gets into the root cause of from where this problem is coming and generating on uh, what what all things were you know jo usne boya tha us time par wo usko pata chalta hai and then we come we we relive we regress and then we release it and then we are uh, you know back into our normal state and then we uh, our healing healing journey starts from there so that is the entire past life regression therapy works it is all based on the karma theory great and if someone is here who just got to know about okay there is something called past life regression therapy now what are the reason uh, the person should go and consult uh, for this therapy yeah so uh, the reason could be anything first of all the reason should be a burning question Okay. whether uh, because you know uh, a problem yeah a burning problem a burning question that why why me why this is happening with me because okay. in uh, you you must be seeing in a uh, general you know uh, uh, in a general scenario people around us jo bas apne dincharya mein lage hue hain bas chale ja rahe hain kuch bhi kiye ja rahe hain 
अपना सुबह उठा नहाया धोया खाया पिया एंड देन दे they go to their work and those who are uh, how, uh, those who are not uh, working professionals jo the, the females wo ghar ka kaam kiye kar rahe hain and uh, aise karte karte the entire day sheds and then uh, evening mein fir se khana peena sona bas aur isi ke sath pattern bana hua hai ha ek pattern bana hua hai aur usi ke sath sath unki suffering bhi unke sath sath chali ja rahi hai but they don't have the uh, eagerness or they don't have that zeal to uh, to change something in their life some people just wo chale ja rahe hain but kuch log aise hote hain jinke andar ek burning question hota hai ki mujhe ye cheez theek karni hai why i am suffering uh, because of so and so health issue why uh, the why uh, re- matlab relationship mein agar kisi ka ek do teen breakups ho gaya hai ya divorce ho gaya hai mm-hmm. to wo fir se shaadi kar lega ek person hai aur dusra person hai jo sochega ki why why this why is happening that person will uh, you know unke man mein ek andar se question aayega ki i want to go to the root cause and i want to heal that okay mm-hmm. so uh, the common causes the common uh, you know uh, reasons why people go is uh, sometimes the health issues health issues for sometimes health issues are not diagnosed properly and uh, sometimes you know apart, despite taking all the measures uh, homeopathy allopathy ayurvedic sab try kar liya mm-hmm. lekin wo cheez theek nahi ho rahi hai तो फिर पता करना होता है कि हमारे पास्ट में क्या चीज के वजह से हमें ये प्रॉब्लम आज हो रही है फाइनेंशियल इश्यूज फाइनेंशियल इश्यूज के लिए हो सकता है रिलेशनशिप इश्यूज के लिए हो सकता है इट कुड बी फॉर एनी रीजन इट कुड बी फॉर फियर फोबिया कुछ लोगों को पानी में डर लगता है कुछ लोगों को फ्लाइट uh, में जाने में डर लगता है कुछ लोगों को ऊंचाई से डर लगता है so in all these cases they can get to know the reason uh, of this particular fear or phobia yes uh, through uh, with the help of the past life regression therapy got it got it so so if you are someone who is going through a tough phase tough patch of your life and after doing everything after consulting everyone wh- whomsoever right it is not cleared it is not cured okay so you must think about it why it is happening and yeah you can consult the a consultant the therapist right <laughs> so we have multiple therapies in the world around the world so how, what do you think how this past life regression therapy is better and different from other therapies okay uh, satyam uh, though every therapy has their own way of working and their own uh, you know impact and uh, if i talk about the past life regression therapy it is one of the most intense uh, therapies and it uh, as i have mentioned uh, it goes to the root cause of any issue it it goes right. straight away to the root cause see being aware of something is different uh, but getting into it and knowing it uh, in in actual and in real is something different there the uh, you know healing work starts because you can be aware ki ha maine mujhe ye aisa hua hai zarur maine kuch pichle janam mein kiya hoga so this is just an awareness but when you go through the process of this therapy you actually get into the process of uh, regressing reg- uh, pro- regression process and you uh, get into the process of healing yourself okay jaise ki uh, you get to know that you know uh, at a certain location there is one new restaurant which has opened but that mm-hmm. will not give you a taste of the food there until unless right. you go and have the uh, ha- you know have the food True. there so True. just awareness hona aur ek actual mein process ke go through karna is a different thing different. okay secondly um the other, another difference is that where, where you know past life regression therapy works at the uh, wavelength uh, we have certain wavelengths of our brain uh, starting mm-hmm. from gamma beta alpha theta and uh, delta state so uh, gamma state gamma wavelength and uh, beta wavelength uh, are alertness and awareness states Mm-hmm. and uh, the deepest uh, you know uh, delta is the most deep sleep state deep sleep path and the med- med- any kind of meditation 
or uh, this uh, past life regression therapy takes you to a uh, deep trance light trance or deep trance so ye aapko leke jati hai somewhere in the borderline of theta and alpha so there you know when you are into those wavelengths of your brain your brain starts healing your brain starts tapping into your subconscious mind because hamara jo subconscious brain hai wo hamara mm. uh, hamari soul ke inception se leke abhi tak ka pura data uske paas hai so our conscious brain is just the 10% where, which yes. is the logical brain which which helps us to take decisions and logical decisions logical reasonings but 90% of our uh, brain is the subconscious brain which holds our entire information since the inception of our soul so with this uh, past life regression therapy we tap into that state of our brain and we get to know the root cause so that is the reason the effectiveness of this therapy is i would say you know uh, uh, it, it has a great impact and a great effectiveness this therapy work okay got it now uh, definitely i am sure that you have multiple clients around the globe okay right now i just want to know one example like what do you think that the person is going through some tough patch and after this therapy how the life change just give give us go through the story and give us the example yeah sure so though i have multiple examples uh, but i would uh, as you have uh, told me to yes. mention just one i would mention about one so uh, there was this uh, lady uh, who came for came for a regression therapy and uh, she was going through a relationship issue uh, with her husband wherein mm-hmm. uh, there was uh, no you know uh, between husband and wife uh, the relation there was no harmony uh no physical contact and uh, there was no love left uh, though they were uh, th- th- this couple was a love marriage couple but okay. still there was no love left in between them okay right so uh, she undergone the therapy she she went through this therapy process and after this therapy process um i i could say that you know uh, after this therapy process once she uh, she view what was the reason core reason in the past and why uh, such things is are happening with her because i will just tell, give you though we are not allowed to share the entire thing but uh, i can right. share the uh, gist uh, of that story uh, yeah. she uh, she was um, like uh, her husband of this lifetime used to be her uh, son in that previous lifetime mm. and she had a very uh, you know good bonding with husband uh, but that time in that previous lifetime uh, because of some reason she was not able to take care of her her son and uh, at the time of dying she had uh, given a vow a promise that i will take care of you whatsoever is the situation so in this okay. current lifetime uh she got her uh, son as her husband and uh, then again you know the the uh, it started uh, on a bad note where it it had ended because this is what happens jahan hum jis relationship ko hum jis note pe chhodte hain wo next lifetime mein usi oh, note pe start hoti hai to unki bhi relationship usi tarike se start hui and uh, after going through all this process uh, today uh i i can tell you uh, that you know uh, usne abhi recently la- last couple of months ago she has given birth to a baby girl and now they are they have a very good harmony between uh, each other and the love is also back and they are living a normal and a happy life wow great now i just want to know what is the process how the process unfolds like it goes online offline how you do it and just let us know the experience about it yeah sure uh, so the past life regression therapy process uh, can be done online and offline uh, both the ways it can be done uh, for uh, localites uh, we do for those who are able to come they i we do it uh, you know offline and for those who are uh, not able to come online can also be done uh, like i do online therapies also and uh, 
it it goes with the first of all initially you know uh, the person has to share the root cause why the person is uh, willing to go for this therapy what is that burning question in in right. in the mind of that person for which the person needs to, uh, uh, is willing to take the therapy session then uh, the analysis is being done then based on certain guidelines uh, I check whether the person is, you know, suitable for this uh, past life regression therapy or not. And then the, uh, there are certain set of questionnaires that are being asked for the uh, to, to the client, to the person. And uh, once everything is set and done, uh, the scheduling of the uh, therapy session is done. And after that, on the therapy day, uh, I follow a certain relaxation procedure, which which even differ from person to person because every person cannot be relaxed in a in a standard format. Okay. Every person is every individual is a different individual, so they need a different way of uh, getting into relaxation mode. So, As I mentioned, so it is kind of hypnotherapy. Yeah, it is. Uh, it it starts with hypnotherapy. Uh, yeah. And by hypnotherapy, I mean hypno. Uh, it's a therapy of taking the person into trance. Yeah. Uh, that wavelength I mentioned about the wavelength right, uh, right, from right. alpha to theta, not not uh, where the person is even more aware. Okay. Perfect. Uh, it's not the uh, the typical hypnosis where the person you know jo TV mein dikhata hai na hypnosis. Right, it's right. not that hypnosis. It's okay. a hypnotherapy process. Uh, so after going through hypnotherapy process, uh, the person goes into trance and then the person gets into the significant past lifetime where the person gets the answers to the uh, core issue of the problems. Okay, right. so this is an experience is different uh, for different people because there is no certain uh, script which can be followed because right. it is all how it goes, how the person flows into the past lifetime. So and what way. is an average time duration of that? Uh, it takes uh, two to three hours. Two to three hours. Yeah. Got it. And in one setting or you have to do multiple this kind of therapy sessions? See, generally I do it in one setting only. Uh, okay. For rare cases, uh, another setting is needed. Got it. All right. So... Uh, Shraddha, let me know, are there any scientific evidence? Because, you know, most of the people here, they're skeptic, right? They don't believe in those uh, sciences and all those therapies. So for those, are there any uh, scientific evidence which support this theory and you know, something about that? Yes, yes, definitely scientific evidences are available. Uh, those who are, uh, you know, interested and inclined towards uh, knowing more about past life regression therapy sessions, they can, uh, they can refer to, uh, I would like to recommend one book uh, okay. written by uh, uh, Brain Ways. Uh, it is Many Lives, Many Masters. They can go through this book. They can read this book. Audio book is also available on uh, YouTube. And okay. they can also uh, buy buy the paper book. Okay. Right. And apart from this, uh, uh, the the person who undergoes the therapy process, uh, they are their biggest, you know, evidence. Because uh, once you uh, once you will undergo this process, you will come to know a lot about yourself, and you will be able to relate to what you have seen in your past, and. Uh, cool. You know, uh, my uh, like my clients. Uh, uh, I, I'll tell you one example. Uh, mm -hmm. She saw a temple, Lord Shiva temple, in Rajasthan during her uh, past life regression so, therapy. Uh -huh. And after she went home, she googled that and she shared the photograph of that particular temple, and which is still there in Kota in Rajasthan. Wow! So okay. these 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 kind of evidences are available. All right. Okay. So now, uh, definitely when, when, you know, uh, when you are doing this therapy, when you are consulting people, there are misconceptions and myths about this past life regression therapy. Hmm. Uh, so what are those? Uh, just point out some which you come across. Uh, certain myths are uh, some people are, you know, skeptical ki whether uh, they will be hypnotized so I explained them that this is not that kind of hypnos hypnotization. It is right. hypnotherapy, not hypnotization. Okay. 
अनदर मिथ इज वेदर यू नो सम पीपल बिकम स्केप्टिकल की क्या मैं वापस आऊंगा करेंट लाइफ टाइम में क्या कहीं मैं वहां पास लाइफ टाइम में तो नहीं रह जाऊंगा सो आई एज अ थेरापिस्ट यू नो एक्सप्लेन देम दैट यू आर बींग मोर अवेयर you are not going anywhere uh, you know physically this is not a time machine this is not a time travel you mm-hmm. are very much there it's just that you we are tapping into your subconscious brain or maybe a question could be like for me it's like it could hamper my brain functioning or something like that <laughs> <laughs> no not at all because it is working upon your uh, subconscious it as i said ki subconscious mind already has the entire information it's just that we need to tap into that information we are just retrieving that information that yes time. absolutely okay. we are just retrieving that particular memory okay so now because as you are already mentioned that yeah you have some clause that you can't discuss and tell about the story of your client so what are the ethical consideration one should uh, the practitioner should practice while uh, the he consult people and go through this uh, the ethical uh, practices or the considerations uh, while doing a therapy past life yes. regression therapy for a therapist from a therapist point of view is uh we we should not take any mentally retarded uh, client okay. we should okay. not take any client suffering from dementia got it or any client uh, with a, a high you know high level uh, depression state okay and even uh, uh, i uh, like i have a client uh, she she was pregnant 3 uh, 4 months and but she was suffering from certain relationship problem she uh, she was insisting me to you know uh, take her through past life regression therapy but i uh, straight away said no to her by explaining her the reason that uh, during pregnancy also uh, one is not allowed to go undergo this uh, therapy because it is an intense therapy and apart from that uh, when when uh, a therapy is uh, taking place whether it is online or offline uh, no other person is allowed to be there in the therapy room okay. where the therapy is taking uh, like be it your uh, uh, whosoever is like you know, your parents your spouse friend nobody. very close friend husband wife nobody is allowed to be there in that room got it all right so chadda just let me know are there any risk involved in this number one number two what are the drawback of this therapy if there are any uh satyam there is no risk involved if the therapist you know um, follow the guidelines which i just mentioned not taking any mentally retarded person or depressed person or a pregnant woman uh if just these basic guidelines are maintained there is no risk in uh, this therapy and uh, th- there is uh, no no drawback of this therapy rather uh, you know i would say there is a uh, immense you know benefit of ca- get going uh, through this therapy process because you get to know about your own self a lot of things minor things which we keep on neglecting in our day to day life but when we go through this therapy process we become uh, conscious and aware of those particular those those minor things which in long run uh, brings a major difference in our life so and yeah after therapy do you give them uh, an advice to overcome it and what kind of advice are those yes definitely after the therapy process once the therapy is done uh, i give Uh, my subject some time to come out of it and come back in the normal state okay. and then a uh, talk is being done a discussion being done or uh, whatever uh, query the person has uh, the person asks and from my end as a, a therapist also whatever is you know uh, suitable and required for that person i definitely share that piece of advice with the person got it and one more question that if i'm i'm not suffering from anything i don't have any problem so would you prefer me like would you prefer me to go through this therapy or someone who is going through some tough patch or some problem those only go through this therapy 
uh, see, as I had mentioned that uh, the person need to have certain burning question in mind. Uh, okay. So that those are those cases are only taken for past life regression therapy because uh, this is uh, not a you know we we say that it is not a uh, no, we we are not tourist guides that you know we yeah, guide true. in, in through your just past for life. experience you can yes, go through this. So not just for okay. experience you must have certain question in your mind. It could be related to spirituality also. Some people suffer from uh, issues like if health issue nahi hai, relationship issue nahi hai, financial issue nahi hai. Lekin fir bhi kisi kisi logo ka question hota hai ki mujhe spirituality mein growth kyun nahi mil rahi hai. Okay. Main spirituality mein jahan pahunchna chahta hoon ya chahti hoon wahan kyun nahi pahunch pa raha hoon. To uh, tabhi bhi hum dekh sakte ki kya block raha hoga. जिसके वजह से वो आगे नहीं बढ़ पा रहा है लेकिन एक अंदर से बर्निंग एक क्वेश्चन आना जरूरी होता है ट्रू ऑल राइट एंड व्हाट एडवाइस वुड यू गिव टू समवन हु वांट टू ट्राई दिस थेरेपी ट्राई एज इन दे हैव द प्रॉब्लम दे वांट टू ट्राई दिस थेरेपी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो व्हाट एडवाइस वुड यू गिव टू समवन हु इज लुकिंग फॉर इट yeah so those who uh, wish to go for this uh, past life regression therapy for the first time uh, my advice is uh, if you have got that you know inner guidance to go for it do not suppress your guidance go for it address your guidance uh, address your inner voice go for it approach therapist and have a open talk and uh, surrender yourself completely once you surrender yourself right. then only the because this is a divine work then only divine will be able to work upon you so this is okay. my uh, advice for the person who is willing to go for it all right uh, that's it from my side uh, shadda thank you so much for being here uh, if you have anything to you know just any suggestion any advice anything any end note for our audience please Tell them. Uh, my end note would be uh, since this entire talk was based on past life regression therapy today. My talk, my uh, end note would be relive, regress, release, and heal yourself. This will help you in uh, making you evolve in a better person, help you in self realization and uh, self evolution. So this is how you can work upon your own self. Thank you so much, uh, Shraddha Thanuka, for being here in this show and sharing so much knowledge and information with our audience and with me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you. Thank you, Satyam. Okay. All right. Uh, I just want to thank our audience as well for being here with us for like thirty, forty minutes and. i hope that you will get some awareness about that this kind of therapy is there and if you are suffering from any problem just don't neglect things just research upon it think about it go ask for the therapy ask for the therapist discuss it and go for it all right thank you so much for joining us thanks a lot hope you find this episode helpful and you got a really valuable information throughout this episode and if you do so please like this video subscribe to our channels and follow us in different social media platform i would like to thank shraddha once again for being here and sharing so much knowledge and insight about the science through this episode to our audience thank you so much and if you have something to share please let us know in the comment bo box down below thank you so much for joining me i would like to see every one of you in the next episode as well till then thank you bye bye